So, so one of my favorite things about this movie, and it's it's kind of just it's it's not random, but it's small, is is the character of Karen. I thought, like when you watch this movie, Laurie Strode doesn't do much in this movie. She's, she's not in the movie that much either. If you really think about it, yeah, she's knocked out. And the the movie very much feels like an ensemble cast. Like in Halloween, nineteen seventy eight, the original, you do follow Laurie a lot. You see her with her friends. And then you see Loomis, you see his side of things, you know, the parallels. And in this movie, it's like Loomis doing his Loomis thing. And then um, Laurie Strode just like sedated (laughs) and high, you know. So like I I felt that that was that's a weird choice. But since it's an ensemble cast, I thought the character of Karen was very strong and I feel like you, like, like I, I believe you touched on it earlier. There's that scene where she left a Halloween party and she's with one of her random friends. You never see the friend again. And her friend's like, hey, you promised to take me home after the party. And Karen's like, oh, I have to get to work at the hospital. And like you start learning about this girl. Like, OK, she's then when she does get to work. Virginia kind of gives her shit for being 15 minutes late because it was like twice this week and she's supposed to be watching. She's like a nursery nurse like or whatever you call that that watches over like newborn babies. So like you're starting to get to know this character and then you start to see her relationship with Bud who's an asshole and she is very likable in this movie and then she's killed like brutally like horrible death. She's, she's, a tra- a, she's a tragic character. Yes, and it's I, I do like how they wrote her character. I just like her interactions. Well, I, I agree with you. It's and good. she's she's a good character. Com- and again, and I and I and I will say Jimmy Jimmy, and I have my issues with Jimmy, and I'll get to that later. But Jimmy and Bud are also their standouts in this movie. Very memorable, definitely. You know, and and I definitely. feel like that adding this character of Karen to to the movie, it makes you almost think that she's going to become a main character. Or that's at least how I took it. Where, yeah, I could see that. Where like, oh, maybe she's going to like with team up with, with Laurie and try to survive this thing. Because she has basically no scenes with Laurie, if I remember correctly. She's not in any, like, you're yeah. mostly following, you, you, you follow her around early on when she's with a friend and then, you know, her getting to the work and you know, getting getting barked at about being late and then her with Bud. So you really get to know her. You get to see her. And again, like you said, tragic character. She She's very likable, very innocent. She's a, the opposite of Bud, who's a scumbag. So, you know, you, you just yeah, feel for is. her character. So just that character, I think she was very well written. And they did a good job at building her up and caring when she dies instead of just being like whatever like like Janet who just gets off and yeah. is like whatever you sucked anyway or, or even Jill who Jill yeah. again there's not much to the character you don't really get to know her so again just I thought I thought they killed it when it came to the way they wrote the character of Karen that, that's one of my uh, favorite things about Halloween too 